United States Navy's arsenal of modern weapons, this new 3-inch 50 caliber rapid-fire anti-aircraft rifle in single or twin mount. And these new 8-inch 55 caliber rapid-fire dual-purpose rifles in turret mount are standout additions to the firepower of today's fleet. The 3-inch 50 caliber rifle was refined from private designs by the Navy's own Buord and Naval Gun Factory. The story of this amazing gun really began in the last war. The fast-firing 40-millimeter guns were our mainstay for the in-fighter kamikaze attack. The 40s did all right, but it soon became too evident that the 40s just didn't pack a Sunday punch. Their two-pound shells could freeze a dead hand on the stick of an enemy plane, but too often that plane still continued on its deadly course. Something huskier than the 40 was obviously needed. So when you see the husky new three inch shell alongside the little two pounder of the old 40 millimeter gun, you can readily understand why the new three inch 50 caliber is the answer. Between its twin barrels is the mount captain station. His finger is always on the firing key while the gun is in action. In action under local control, the gun is trained and pointed from either of two one-man control stations located at the usual trainer and pointer stations. And under remote or director control, the operation of the gun becomes completely automatic. This mount is one of the first of its size designed to be trained through a continuous turn of 720 degrees. And of course, it's interlocked to keep it from firing on any part of the ship. In firing the gun, ammunition can be passed either from ready lockers or from deck scuttles. The ammunition is then placed in stowage magazines on the mount itself. These magazines are ingeniously designed to keep a fresh round in the same ready position at all times so the first loaders can work fast. A quick two-handed pull puts them into the loading position where they're slid firmly into the loader with thumbs carefully in the clear. Considering the firepower of this mount, the crew is relatively small, but hopping busy when the gun is in rapid fire. As you see, the loading mechanism feeds at any elevation, and that, coupled with its smooth operation, is one of the main secrets of this gun's high rate of fire. In slow motion, you can see how the loader works. The ammunition is fed by hand, alternately, into the set of star wheels on each side of the gun. Then it travels across underneath as the wheels revolve until it reaches the ramming position, where the pivoted transfer tray swings it swiftly down and into the breech below. Of course, the loader is completely interlocked to prevent double loading or other mechanical error. Smooth, isn't it? But to really appreciate it, you've got to see the gun at full speed with a trained crew pour on them in, like this. Between targets, it takes a couple of men just to clear the hot cases from the front of the mount. In twin mount, these new 3-inch 50 caliber rifles get them off almost as fast as your watch tick with enough power not only to take away an enemy's breath, but to blow him right out of the sky. Now, if you think this two-fisted puncher is tough, just take a look at the eight-inch automatic. There probably are naval engineers elsewhere in the world who'd say, like the little boy said about the elephant, there ain't no such animal. But there is, and this is it, the only gun of its kind in the world. Surface targets are duck soup, as you'd expect of an 8-inch rifle. But believe it or not, it's also deadly against high-flying enemy fighters or bombers, and long before they can even see their target.
As soon as you get inside the turret, you begin to see the clean design dreamed into this gun by Navy men who conceived, planned, fabricated, forged, and successfully tested this cruiser cruncher in only one short year and a half. Here at the gun captain's station, each function of loading and firing is under automatic control as long as this main switch is held by hand in the on position. And not only that, lights indicate step by step every phase of the loading operation. There are two conventional periscopes for spotting and observation and the conventional pointer and trainer station. But this is the Navy's first big gun that cannot be manually operated. Electricity does the work, and in fact, electricity does a lot of the thinking. For this 8-inch 55 caliber can also be put under the fully automatic control of the director. The complex mechanism of this gun is really a marvel of simplicity. Loading begins 60 feet below deck, where the ammunition starts up the hoist. When it reaches the cradle, cleverly pivoted on the gun's own trunnion, the fuse can be set by remote control. Get that. The fuses are set by remote control right from the plotting room. When ready, and here from above, you see it in slow and stop motion. The cradle swings up, latches to the slide, and the shell is kicked from the cradle into the transfer tray, then swung over into the ramming position. Simultaneously, on the other side, another cradle swings the powder case into transfer position. Yes, that's right, powder case, for this is the first case gun of its size. That means speed and safety. With case and shell in position, the rammer creeps until the case is in contact with the shell. Then case and shell are rammed home over the top of the sliding breech adroitly designed to guide the ammunition into the gun chamber. The rammer withdraws, and the transfer trays get out of the way into the firing position. After the gun is fired, the breech block slides open, and the hot case is ejected into the empty case tray linked to the transfer trays. Now here it is again, a little faster. It's amazing when you stop to think about it that in dummy test runs, all this intricate mechanism stands up 100% through 15,000 cycles. At rapid fire speed, you can feel the smoothness that has enabled one of these guns to fire two 100 round rapid fire bursts without a single stoppage. These bursts that can pinpoint in the faraway heart of an enemy, a steel jacketed 335 pound earthquake, not once a minute or even twice a minute, but faster than any gun of its size in any Navy, more than eight times a minute. This is firepower.